Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are continue setting up our Einstein bot. Now let's say in the create a new case menu the user has provided all the information which the bot needed like first name, last name, phone number, all of that. And then what happened is bot has created a new case. Now let's say after that what happens is the user is still not happy. He wants to talk to a life agent. So what we're going to do is after all these things are done, we will set up our next step. And in the next step, we will give the user two options either to end the chat or the second option is to transfer to an agent. OK, so first thing is I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this. Click yes here. And then in the wait for next input, we will click on wait for next input and then minimize this window and you see there are next steps. The first step is to wait for customer input. We have already seen that. Now in the second step, you have a show a menu option. The if you want to start another dialogue, you can see which dialogues you want to start. You can do that or we can directly do a transfer to an agent once all that case has been created. Now, I don't want to directly transfer to an agent. I'll show a show a menu option here. And what I'll do is I'll choose two options either to end the chat. OK, this is the option. Then the next one is to go back to the main menu, which is basically it's going to show check my status and create a new case. And the third is transfer to an agent, just like we did it for our previous uh, menu item in the check my case status. The same menu options, I'm going to show it here and we will save it and we will activate it. Now, once we have done all of that, let's preview it. We're going to go ahead and preview it as rich content preview. And uh, we will go ahead and click on this minus here, chat with an expert. And this time we will transfer to an agent. OK, so we'll go here and uh, start chatting. And first thing is we will create a new case. OK, then it's going to ask you for first name, Steve. Last name, Jobs. What is your company name, Apple? Tell me about the issue briefly. Phones are not creative anymore. Enter your phone number. This is the one. And then we have is enter your email, Steve jobs at apple.com. Let's see. And then our case has been created. Now you have three options End chat main menu or transfer to the agent. What we're going to do is we will transfer to the agent. But the thing is the agent is not available right now, right? Unfortunately, there are no available agents at the moment. How do you set up the agents now? So what we will do is we will go back and first thing we will do is we will enable our Omni channel. OK, so we'll go over to the setup and type in Omni channel settings here. OK, make sure your Omni channel settings are enabled. So this is enabled. Very good. Then what we will do here is we will go over to service console. We'll go to the service console here. Now your bot is here. This is sorry. This is your bot, this one. And here we are going to enable our chat. So you can see here Omni channel offline right now. So at the lower left hand side, just cross this at the bottom here, this one. Let me show you this one here, Omni channel. Click on that. And then what will happen is it is currently showing offline. We will go ahead and make it available. This, this is how the chat will look like. Now, if somebody pings it, if somebody says again, transfer to an agent, let's say we cross this now, confirm and chat and uh, close this chat and let's start another one. We will say DD and then again, start chatting. And this time, let's just uh, choose the other option, which is check my case status because it's simple. All it is asking you is for a case number. We'll provide some random case number and then we would like to transfer the call to the agent. OK, transfer to the agent. And then what we'll do is once it is transferred to the agent, you are going to get a notification over here. You can see here bot enabled group chat setup. Once you accept it, What's going to happen is now you can communicate. Now this is the agent screen 
and this is where the user is going to enter okay so now let's say the agent is saying over on this side agent is saying how can i help you let's say the customer was not satisfied with just the creation of the case he is going to say how can i help you okay now once he says that on this side on the bot this message showed up and now the customer is typing i have created a new case and i want to know how long will it take to resolve the case that's the question okay now again the bot is the the customer has responded and now the message came to this agent and then the agent is going to say it takes about 2 to 3 days to resolve a case we will connect check back back the status in 2 business days okay so this is what it's going to resolve so now what we did is we set up our omni channel which is all everything was enabled or we did was we went over to service console and we made our agent active or basically available now next time whatever is happening the chat whatever the chat the user is typing here the agent is going to see it and they are able to communicate okay now this is to transfer to the agent but we don't want to go through the whole menu options and then get to transfer to agent transfer to agent should be available right here so in order to do that you will first deactivate it and you are going to add this transfer to the agent edit the end of the chat and transfer to the agent can happen any time right we want to make sure so what will happen is we are going to show in the bot menu options once you select this check box what will happen is at any given point in time you can directly click on this and you can transfer it to an agent or you can end the chat in between okay so let's go ahead and hit the save here and let's say end chat is another one that should be part of your menu option so we'll go ahead and select this checkbox hit save and now what will happen is we'll activate it just refresh it just to make sure everything is working as expected if you click on preview rich content preview here select an option bot enabled group and uh, chat with an expert here and then we will go over to start chatting and you can see this three hamburger signs available and at this point you can transfer to the agent or end chat at any given time so this is pretty cool right you don't want to go through let's say check my case status let's say you either you didn't want to create a new case you also didn't want to create a uh, check your case status you just want it to be sent over to an agent so you can directly go and click on transfer to the agent then what will happen is over here this user is active now he's going to accept this and what will happen is a new chat window will open here and then here the agent can respond saying how can i help you and then over the uh, at the bot level this uh, the customer is going to say i need to check something with you something like that whatever it is but you can go ahead and now communicate this is how it's going to happen so you can add this chat over to your website and then any customer who goes to your site they can open the chat initially a bot is going to be available and it, you can resolve your simple questions with the help of bot and if bot is not able to help you then there is an option to transfer it to the agent and then whoever is available from the salesforce support side will will they will answer your queries so in the next tutorial also we'll continue learning about this einstein bot i'll see you then thank you very much